Not as seamless as I want it to be. Anyway, welcome to part 10 of Elden Ring. Bet you thought I'd probably bow out about part six. Be like, eh, anyway, time to play something else now. Time to play some indie horror games. Well, guess what? I'm still here. In the last video, what did we do? We explored a lot of caves in the last video. That's what we did. We explored a cave um, that led into a completely new region. We explored uh, a cave that I was trying to get to the entire video that turned out to have a lot of crystals in it. We explored just tons of stuff. We killed some dragons. We killed some dragons. Okay? And uh, overall, I think it was a really fun episode. Um, if you're wondering what the most recently published video is for me right now on the YouTube channel, it's part five. So I'm, I'm just playing way ahead. What can I say? Uh, <laughs> a lot of people have said, it's interesting because I'm reading comments from like part five now and a lot of people are telling me um, that I shouldn't be putting points into intelligence and I shouldn't be equipping uh, weapons that have split physical and magic damage because they actually do way less damage. But I feel just fine power-wise, honestly, like, I beat the Magma Worm, I beat, you know, the Royal Knight person, I mean, like, I'm not struggling from my point of view. I, I beat two of the uh, dragons, I'm, and it may be because, like, maybe I'm over-leveled in level 54, I don't know, I'm, I'm not over-leveling on purpose. Um, I'm just kind of playing how I want to play and I'm, I'm having a great time right now So if you have a problem with my build if you have a problem with how I'm upgrading things, I mean I don't want to be rude, but it's like everything has been totally fine just from an enjoyment standpoint for me, so I'm having a great time playing and uh, You know I can always respec uh, if I'm uh, not happy with how things are, but frankly, I think things are pretty good right now. So, what's all this? Oh wow, lots of ruin fragments. One of these days, I'm gonna craft something with these. Actually, should we do a little crafting? Cause I I pretty much haven't crafted anything. Let's see, what what can we craft? Oh, there's clarifying boluses for madness buildup. That's cool. I can make like a lot of those actually. I can make a ton of greases. We can make tons of greases if we want to. I think the the thing that I'm most interested in making are the raisins for uh, the horse. And other than that, I'm not really that interested. So maybe I just need more recipes. I think that's probably what it is. Hi. I'm finally fighting the giant lobster, y'all. Oh, wow. Whoa! There we go. Y'all watch those Leon the Lobster videos? Some of the best content on YouTube. This guy took this lobster um, from a... Um, uh, grocery store tank took it home and actually like uh, took care of it and the lobster is actually like really thriving it's it's awesome check it out Leon the lobster just search that on YouTube you'll find it got a smitting stone okay now sorry I've already done it I've already done it one time ow oh my god anyway sorry I came over here the re if you're wondering why I'm in the lake I came over here looking for someone um because that that person said that there was uh, somebody in, in a in a building somewhere along the way is what they said but I I don't see it anywhere maybe they're talking about in uh, gate town so I can kind of hang out here in gate town a little bit we're on our way to Raya Lucaria, which I'm excited to check out, frankly. Um, I might just get started with it in this video, I think I've decided. Hi. Precious item. Is there a precious item up here? Or no? There's an item, I don't know if it's precious. Nice, dude. 
Golden rune? Okay. There's actually uh, not much over here. Yeah, Gate Town actually tremendously unexciting. There's just a bunch of toxic plants here and uh, dumb looking dudes walking around. And just some golden runes. No precious items. Lanyu. Oh! No, oh, Lanyu. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? She's dead. She's dead, dude. Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and oh, I no. refused to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Uh, I, I don't know, dude. Any hints around? I should have known better. Sadness ahead. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna mark that you're right here, and with my little NPC marker, and uh, I'll come back. If there's any information that I have for you, which uh, I'm not sure if there will be. Wow. These guys kind of remind me of the Gorons from Zelda a little bit. Ooh, there's a chest here. They got... They got the golden eyes, y'all. There's also possible precious item here. Huh. Huh. Okay, here we go. I'm so tired of it being like, ooh, it's a precious item. Nope. Arteria leaves. I'm surprised it, dude, I swear to God, if the chest has an Arteria leaf in it. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Good. Good. Now, I can't remember. If I have these in my inventory, these cookbooks and stuff, I don't have to, like, use them, right? Alright. Well, I feel good having that. Anything up here? Uh, oh! A golden seed! I almost missed this. Unless I've already got this. I might have already gotten it. Nope, I didn't. Oh. A golden seed, y'all. Right in the middle. Okay, so actually, Gate Town proving to be productive as hell right now. I didn't go up there. That's okay. What's up? Praise the critical hit. Oh! Okay, looks like we have... We have some of these guys around. Let's go! <laughs> Get him, jellyfish! Their backs are turned! Fine, I'll just do all the work. I will I'll just do everything. I'm sorry, jellyfish, I didn't mean that. Hi, you got a great sword? Yeah. Mine's not a great sword. But it's pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Hey wait. You're good, aren't you? What? You're an NPC. Hi. It's you! You please. I can read them. Oh no, you're just one of those palm readers. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Trying to sound so desperate, won't you? Oh, bless you. Mikela's oh. favor can be yours. Who? <laughs> Who? Slaughter. 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 The all hearing slaughtered. But alas, it was for naught. But all you need do is snatch it from the big pot. <laughs> Huh? Pretty the poor, poor 
fool. <laughs> What are you talking about? Goodbye. Anyway. Oh, really? All right, Gate Town, okay. Wow, this thing, look at it. Oh, well, yeah, now you can see it. Turn around, dude. Turn around, idiot. Got that guy. Let's go around the back. Can I backstab this dude? I've tried it before. Quiet. He's walking over there. It evaporated. Oh, excuse you. Oh, I'm gonna shoot some uh, crossbow bolts at you. I just like to do that. Yeah, I got a crossbow too. Except it's just way easier to cut you down with my sword. Wow, look, they're standing at attention here. Would be a shame if someone came up behind them and stealth killed them. <laughs> oh, well, okay, wait. Would be a shame if someone came up behind these guys back here and stealth killed them. I mean, we could just... Here's the entrance, so I don't even need to do this. For some reason, it didn't do a backstab. I don't know why. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm way over here, dude. Look at him. Look at him. He's really... He was swiping. Oh, this guy has no idea. Why didn't you do a backstab? I guess I wasn't close enough. I think you have to be like right up on them. Too bad. What's up? Blue, white, wooden shield. Lord Soren, straight sword. Whoa! Yeah, nice try, idiot. Yeah, better luck next time. All right, well, I mean, are we ready to go inside Raya Lucaria? I guess so. I mean, I don't, I, I've, I've slaughtered thoughtlessly all of them out here. And I think I've picked up all the items. We're not done with the Ernia, but I would like to check this place out. Let's go. Do, 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 do. We use the glintstone key. All right. And uh, this probably isn't all that I'll do this video. I'll just do, I'll probably do like half of it in the video, I'm thinking. I'm being a little optimistic, maybe. Why, what's up? Okay. Cool. I will say I would like to, uh, it teleported us, by the way. I would like to swap this out, the crossbow for a shield. This one seems fine. Um, but yeah, it teleported us up here because we started here at the south gate and right? And then it put us at the main gate. I wonder why that is the case. Huh. Well, wait, where does this go? Oh, it goes up. Oh. Oh, okay. Nice. This lift is much more uh, elaborate than the Stormvale one. Here we are at the Academy. Ooh, it's like Hogwarts up in here. Crystals. We love crystals. We love to put crystals around in a box. Did I hear something? Oh yeah, I hear 
I hear things. Where are they though? Oh, it's the it's the guys with the statue heads. They were at Caria Manor too. Yeah, okay, let's go up the main staircase. Just want to make sure that we were good to go. Look at all the blood here. How did y'all die? Look at all these blood stains. How did so many of you die? You can't be serious, bro. There's a dog ahead, apparently. Hidden path ahead, try right. Okay. I'll try to keep that in mind. A hidden path, you say? The puppets. Ah, huh. interesting. <sighs> Dickhead. Come on, try it again. Gotcha. Okay. Are you wearing shoes? They're not wearing shoes! They got statue heads, but no shoes. Golden rune, too. Hmm. And. Uh, Somber Smithing Stone 3. Nice, dude. Nice. Okay. Where am I on the map? Yeah, let's get this, uh, side of grace. I'm enjoying it. Wait, these paintings. So this is the person that they have their statues, statue heads made out of, I've noticed. It's, it's that person. Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna go off to the, uh, side here. All right, just want to check. Let's see. So we made it. We've already made it over here. I feel like we've made a lot of progress so far. You dickhead! Look how he drained my FP. Do I get it back? No, you don't. Uh, good thing I n don't have any magic. See, you guys were like, "Oh, John, you should do magic." Well, it's a good thing that I didn't. That guy would drain my FP. Yeah. Oh god! My biggest jump scare. Wow. Okay. Stay back. Okay. Get this guy. A grace mimic. Right. What do those do again? Oh, that's a memory of grace. Sorry. Lose all runes, return the last side of grace. Um, yeah, I don't know why I would use this. <laughs> Lose all runes? That's a deal breaker. Light shows the path, but without order. Yeah, I don't, again, I don't really... Know why I would use this. Oh my god. He was like taking his head off, did you see? I appreciate the litany of items that you have in this game, but most of them I just don't really feel like using. I just kind of want to hit stuff. Oh jeez! Damn, dude. Nice visceral. Let's get this. Spellproof dried liver. Get out, get out. There's a bunch of them here. The dried liver, huh?
Okay, this one actually. Nope. I picked up the mushroom instead of hitting. My bad. Wow. Goodbye, all of you. What? Yeah, try ahead. Wait, what, this way? Oh, you're right. I was, I, I was like rolling my eyes at you, like, yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever, buddy. But you were right. Thank you. I did try stealth, but uh, uh, unfortunately it did not work. Marionette soldier ashes? Really? Okay. Um. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so. Goodbye, dog. Silver pickled foul foot. A anything, anything that's got pickles in it, I'm not really into. In this game. Don't get me wrong. I like pickles. I like pickles on sandwiches, but maybe not in my Elden Ring items. <laughs> I don't know, it's not really a big deal, I guess. Oh, way up there. Thingy. Let's get it. Got it. Ash of War Spectral Lance. Bro! I hate the dogs. Put, maybe if you put your shield out. Yeah, you're right. Maybe if you use your shield, it wouldn't be such a big deal. I kinda am to the point where I wanna take the lantern out again. It just helps. It's just nice. See, see, isn't that nice? That's really nice. And why have I not done my wondrous physic yet? It's just nice to have it out. Is that dog? Dog ahead? <sighs> Mushroom. Oh my gosh, give it a rest, dude. Come on. Oh, uh, he interrupted. Okay, there is dog here, but should be able to just Oh wow, this guy. Yep. Oh. He's got the he's got the thicker skin that like prevents you you have to do like uh piercing attacks on him. Magic grease. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, this guy has it too, I think. You have to do the piercing attacks. Side of Grace. Grace? Item ahead. Um. Dude, I was about to, if there was, uh, if there was just a pit there, I was about to, I was about to lose it. Here, well wait. Okay, we've got some uh, worshippers. OK, 
Okay. Sorry, what were you guys doing? You know? Just being weird? You like being weird? And finally... Let me take this. Carrying knight armor, helm, gauntlet, and greaves. Okay. Well, I don't think I'll use it. I, I might look at it later. I, I'm, I think I'm pretty good on um, equipment, though, like armor and stuff. The hell is this? I, I assume I'm supposed to hop on this thing and get carried up. Attacking required ahead. No summons. This dude, huh? Oh! No worries, dude. Oh! Okay. Yeesh. Yeah. Eh, okay, okay. Settle down. Okay, uh, so I'm back. From outer space. And uh, I'm gonna get these runes. Let's see. Let's get the wondrous physic, and I'm ready. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Damn. Sheesh. This guy... I've got an idea. Check this out. <laughs> oh, can I get it? Can I get it? Do you go up this side? How do you get that thing? I got out of that. I'm sorry, but I dodged that. I did. This guy's pretty tough. I dodged backwards. No! He loves doing that move, by the way. Gravity well. Nice, man. How do you get up here? Oh. Summer spinning stuff. Yeah, I don't know why it was so difficult to do that. Um, fantastic. Uh, I don't like fighting those guys. Now, where is this taking me? Right here? Yeah, okay. Farewell. I just realized. Lantern. That's right. Oh, I hear something over here. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, these are easy enemies. I don't need to stealth around these guys. I'm destroying your crystals. 
Oh, a thingy. Crystal dart? Five crystal darts. Those are little things that you can throw, I think. I just haven't really done them. Hello. You like watching the wheel? Goodbye. First off, well done, thank you. So before I get on this thing and start uh, rolling along the river, I'm going to go this way and see what's up in here. <gasps> the side of grace. Lost Grace. So then that makes me wonder if I'm supposed to keep going this way or not. Oh, what a dickhead! <laughs> Farewell. I actually, should I go along the wheel? Conspect a scroll. We can give this to somebody. Um. We can give this to somebody uh, who can teach us spells. Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 5. Thank you so much. I'll go along the the wheel in a second. Oh, 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 oh so sorry. Ow! I didn't even know that you were here. Why do you guys have on those weird masks? I just gotta ask. It's just, it's just a bit strange, isn't it? There's three of these guys. What? What the fuck? They're just doing spells constantly. The warrior jar really uh, caught me off guard there. Where's the warrior jar? Is it, it's that thing? What? Okay. Dude. Okay. So uh, we're here with the warrior jar. And the warrior jar has been shattered. Living jar shard. And a raw meat dumpling. Ugh. <laughs> Now, I haven't gotten any of those because I've never killed those jars before. Ever since I met the Iron Alexander, I mean, I have a little plushie of them. I can't kill them. Oh, what? You, what? How come I, how come I couldn't hit him? Hi. I was striking at him, but it was, I was like hitting the wall. It was weird. Open, okay. Give me a second though. I haven't decided what to do. Hey! That's that citrus statue that I saw at Caria Manor after being Loretta. And I got that thing that was like, Oh, you need to do a, a, a gesture here. Kind of open from the side, got it. And I, I, I couldn't do a gesture. I tried to do one and it wouldn't let me. Uh-oh. Dude, the guy over here is just still, he's still reading. Come on, look, he's he like, oh, he's curious. He's like, did I kill him? Did I vanquish my foe? Oh, damn it. No! Damn it, I was gonna try to stealth kill him. Hello. 
Too bad you have a cooldown, huh? Too bad you can't just keep attacking. Oh, somebody over here is mighty studious. Hmm, that's a magic spell. Ah! Imagine getting just murdered, stabbed in the back by a sword as you're reading a book. As you oft do. Thank you for not making me jump up on the railing for that. Okay, let's keep going up. I'm gonna go back and check out that wheel, by the way. <gasps> Wait, there's a boss up here. What? Boss? Already? I feel like we just got here, though. Friend ahead. Dog, oh dog. Okay. Let's see. Let's go. Red Wolf of Radagon. Hello. All right. No, that makes sense. You are very good. Very good boy. I need to learn your attacks. I need to learn your attacks. You are crazy. This is very similar to the red wolf I saw in the graveyard by Karia Manor, by the way. Here we go. This is the time to do it, I feel like. Now I'm thinking we want to get, oh, we want to get right on this, you know. Oh, is it right there that we want to go? Um, or, hmm. Wait, does it go all the way down? Or, um. I'm gonna... Oh, oh. Too high. Too high! I just lost 16,000 runes because they were with the Red Wolf of Radagon. Hi. So, uh, we landed here. Ooh! Give me this. Herba. Wow. I can't say... Wait, this is just... Hey! Ow, oh, this sucks. This isn't what I wanted. Oh my gosh. That was really close. That was really close, huh? Do I hop down from there? Huh. I don't know, I just want to try it. Okay, so now we... Do I hop down from here? Hop down here? Yeah? Is it here? Um... Oh, yeah, maybe don't get on that thing. I'm gonna get on... I'm gonna go over here. Secret area. And then we can go back up. Got it. Hello? Ugh. Who are you? Huh. Oh. Longtail cat talisman. I don't know what the. I don't like this. It's like a living Iron Maiden. Get me out of here. 
He tried to do it back to back! You dickhead. Come on, let's go. Oh. I don't like that. It freaks me out. Die. What did you drop, huh? What do you drop? Nothing. They never drop anything. I'm all about the drops. If you don't got drops, by the way, what'd that talisman do? Renders the wearer immune to fall damage. Is that so? Really? That sounds pretty interesting. Immune to fall damage, I'd love that. Lost Ashes of War, nice. We can duplicate Ashes of War with that. Cool. I am, I guess, ready to go back up. Jellyfish, you know what to do? Oh my god. <laughs> I tried to take a shot. Get him, jellyfish. We're doing very good damage against this person, though. This person, this wolf, the red wolf of Radagon. We're doing very good damage against them. Can I get my runes? I guess he held it up to his lips, but hadn't quite swallowed yet. achievement too and a memory stone all right nice see we got 16,000 runes anyway all right awesome now I'm assuming that's not the main boss I don't think it is because there was no cutscene that was just the first one let's see I think we kind of like we came in here and then we kind of went like this way so I wonder where the main boss is. Probably over here. Probably, if I were to guess, I'd say it's right here. <laughs> Just because that's the biggest circular thing in the building. All right, well, 
That was cool. Um, I think I'm going to take a little break from Raya Lucaria and mill around Liurnia some more. But, oh, not quite. I was going to get another faith point. Okay, I think I've got enough now for a level up. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't. I've got, like, I need 80 more. Okay, there we go. I said to kill one thing. Can't wait to get my plus one faith point. Is this worth it? I'm having to put a lot of points into faith. Maybe I should save. Actually, maybe I should save until I can respec. Um... Maybe I should stop putting points into faith until I can respec, and then I'll just change them all over there, and we can try out the sword. Watch us not like it. We might not like it. Um, let's see. You know, now that I've beaten the actual Red Wolf mini boss, I bet I can beat this just rando Red Wolf over here. There we go. Hi. Okay. Here we go. Actually. Probably should get rid of the, the pack first. Hold your own, jellyfish! Good job, jellyfish. Wow, it knows the spell too. Okay, and what's this? Golden rune, okay. I'm sorry, jellyfish, I won't abandon you. Let's get him. Come here. Got him. Yeah, so that gave about 1,300 runes. But other than that and guarding the golden rune, there wasn't really anything here. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and, uh, take this off. Oh my gosh, do I know how to use the map? There. We do have an average jail boss here, to, uh, still. I'm trying to figure out, like, what else do I need to do in Liurnia? I'm... I haven't gone over here at all. In fact, I can't really figure out a way up. This is over the village of the Albanarix. It's underneath it. Yeah, I don't know. I could beat some Everjail bosses. Um, I don't know. I could go down to the river well some more. I haven't done much down there. And there's also, like, I really didn't explore too much over here, actually. Ah, you again, is it? The recusant sent a lucky. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did. Oh, that was I you? I believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? I didn't even realize. You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir. Found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. What the hell are you That's talking about? Hide. The manor on the peak. No idea. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. Does anyone else feel like this is just Edgar and Arena's story again? He even looks like Edgar. I am pleased to see you again. Oh yeah? Would you like me to hold you once more? Sure. Now. Come closer. I do need a hug. I know I said I wouldn't do it. I'm sorry. I just want to see if she has any gossip or if she has any more dialogue. Talk in secret. Here we go. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life 
To do so is the purpose of my being. I see. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this as often as it takes. You're kind of creepy, lady. You're kind of creepy. Do you know? May I ask a favor? Do I know? Do you know what? My dear, have you ever heard of Black Knife Prince? No. Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed. Is that and so? And the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The Black Knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte, but dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. Well, you're a deathbed companion, right? About the black knife print, sure. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else about the black knife prints that fascinate dear Roger so. A knife print clue! But it wouldn't be right to give this to him. Stuck as he is in the round table hold. I'll go do Perhaps it. Perhaps you could make use of it. I'll use it. Treasure! May I ask a favor? My dear, might I ask something of you? Wait, I asked could you a favor. Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? Dagger? The weather dagger. A certain person gave it to me as a gift. Who? It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Well, please, can you tell me more info? I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you and return it to them. Do you have any information? It's a very precious thing. That's it, huh? It um, how does John not know that he has a debuff right now? And he used to use Baldekin's blessing. Um, it temporarily boosts poise, by the way. Uh, I don't really care much about that. Let's do it. Alright, yeah, okay. Um, what was I gonna look at? It was under key items, right? The weather dagger, this. Uh, let's take a look. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but is now worn down and marred by a black gash. Do you think it's that... It's that red guy that was like, leave me be. Oh, I also need to look at that map. Yeah? Meaning place map. Knife print clue. I know exactly where that is. Okay, the clue to the whereabouts of a black knife print. I'll tell you, I'll show you exactly where that is. Right here. Yep, because there's the minor urd tree, and then there's the, uh, tower. Yep. Pretty sure. I'm gonna just put this here. Because it's like, it's probably a cave and a boss, right? Well, I mean, if I'm right, then we're gonna go here uh, to the outskirts of the frenzied flame village. And uh, actually, maybe I should have left the blue marker up so I can know exactly how to get there. Um, right there. Right. Now, if I remember correctly, I think we're pretty high up, actually. I think we're pretty high up. So, might need to ease our way down. Okay, yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad right here. Okay, right here. Yeah, we hurt a little bit. Not a big deal. Big whoop, big whoop. Hi. Yes, you're very cool. Why is he like... Look at him. He's teleporting. Do you have the black knife print? Or do I need to go inside for that? I need to go inside for that, huh? Yeah. That's alright. 
That's cool, okay. You were guarding this place, huh? The Black Knife Catacombs. Now, I do remember the beast eye quivers. That means that there's death root nearby. We must weed it. Are you are you going to Karank? Weeding their death root. Garank awaits your death root that you must weed. You must weed their death root. Anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by myself, um the Black Knife Assassin was a mini boss I fought in Limgrave. And I'm curious if we're gonna fight them again here. We've already had a couple repeat bosses. The uh, Erd Tree Burial Watchdog, for example. Was a repeat boss. Um, wow. I need to hit twice, I think, or? What the hell? Why, how are they coming back to life constantly? I was about to do a, uh, was it that guy? I think there was like a mage or something. Yeah, see, this guy. Yeah. Grave Glove Wart 2. I would love to get Grave Glove Wart 3, frankly. But I don't know where you can even find them. Wait, what? Spellproof dried liver. Is there a. There must be a mage somewhere. Dickhead. Hey, Great Glove of War 3, we can upgrade our spirit ashes. Will you please? Okay. Good. Oh, you're a crab? I'm sorry! All right, let's go over here. I think this is another Grave Glove War 3. I was just talking about how I want another one of those. Oh my gosh. A rune arc. What a liar. Now, do I really want to fight this guy? We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Um, I'm sorry, I was just surprised. I was just surprised. Wow. I didn't think that there would be two. Anyway, you, you little crabs. Pay no mind. Um, wait, how do we go in there? Yeah, he's gonna come back no matter what. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Got him. I knew there was some guy up here. I got another one of those grave glove warts. So if they're... 
We gotta get this guy. And he just- killing him kills all of the skeletons. Oh look, it's the watchdog statues. What? Stop! Stop telling me this! So if the skeletons are glowing, that means that they're under the influence of like one of those mage guys. And if they're not... Oh, we dropped down. And if they're not, then, uh, they're just regular. Oh my gosh. You can't hit the wall and get rid of them. Freaking annoying. Stop. You better. Oh my god, they were telling the truth. They were telling the truth! D, Hunter of the Dead. Sure. Ah, oh, here you are. Weeding their death root. I have very little healing left. All right, D. Um, let's go, I guess. It's a black knife assassin. Wow, look at him. Just like I said. It's interesting that uh, D is here with us. I have to be careful. I have very little, uh, health. Okay. Got him. Get him, dude. Nice, dude. We got this! We got this! Yeah! We make a pretty good team. Assassin's Cerulean Dagger, and we got the Black Knife print. Cool. Edge, Lord. <laughs> Praise the secret. We did beat the Black Knife Assassin, but it looks like you can drop down here, and I'm wondering if I can drop down on the other side. Uh-huh. Great. Uh, Ghost Glove Wart 3. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. So there's actually two bosses here. Somewhere a heavy door opened. Oh, uh, give me a break. Goodbye. Nice. So there's actually two bosses here? I really liked that Black Knife Assassin fight. It was one of those where I was like, this is either really easy or I just know exactly what to do. I think I just knew exactly what to do. Cemetery Shade. I hate this fucking thing. I remember this. I, I've... It's another repeat, the Cemetery Shade. I did a lot of damage, though. And I pretty much didn't do anything. This thing attacks a lot. Dodge that. Holy shit. I guess you can if you I was dodging behind. I should have dodged towards, like to the side. That's very frustrating. You know, it it would it wouldn't be that big a deal if the skeletons weren't on me the entire time. I'm sure it's this type of thing, like, once you figure out how to deal with it, it's easy. I just haven't figured out how to deal with it yet. It's hard to lock on to him, too, because of all these freaking skeletons. Get out! 
Just take a shot. You know how easy it is to take a shot? Just... That's how fast it needs to happen. You don't need to sit there and savor it. Okay, you know what? I hate to say it, but I, I think I might come back to this. It's... Annoying me. Why can't he be like you? Easy. Anyway, let's go back to the round table. Can get the black knife print or whatever and... We'll show it to Ro Where the hell is it? There it is. Anyway, buddy, let me... Before I give this to you, let me look at it, actually. The black knife print? Is it under key items? This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. Malekith the Black Blade. Hmm. Hey, bud. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? I don't know. Give the black knife print. This is a black knife print. Impress. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. Yeah. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women arrayed in armor of How silver progressive. under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Tease out? Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Hand it over the black knife print. Okay, we don't really have a choice. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense, dude. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so guess where I'm going. Greetings. Are yeah. You here for spirit, too? Yes. Oh, there's something you should know. What is it? I need to warn you about something. Oh. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. The red guy? I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. Death and you defilement. Keep your distance. What is that? I know you're strong, but please. You talking about the you talking about the death and defilement guy? Whatever. Oh, you need ghost glove wart for this one. Oh, I didn't know that. Spirit jellyfish ashes. Come on! Damn. Interesting that um, these all need grave. These require ghost. Interesting. Um, well, let me actually use up some of my golden runes to get money. I'm just gonna, yeah, boom. It's like, oh, it's like eight thousand. Holy shit! Greetings. Are you here for spirit? That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> let me get uh, spirit jellyfish up. Oh, again. Plus four! I know I got a Grave Glove Wart four. That's nice. Um, should I get... Hmm. The Marionette Soldiers. They seem kind of neat. Oh wait, talk. What, do you want to talk? I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. Oh, yeah. I can see how and why immortal essence exists. A spirit under the golden order. Sure. I can understand their yearnings. Whatever. What they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. That I'm no mere apprentice any longer. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Roderica, the certified spirit tuner. Well, who certified you? You? You self-certified. I'm wondering too. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for I took dead. You for dead. Lay out, your arms. Lay out your arms. Lay out your arms. Lay out your arms. What about uh, Roderica? 
The girl has come a long way. As ever, time and technique have made her stronger. Tis good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice. Or a daughter. But at times, that's precisely what she feels like to me. Mm, slow roll, soft. buddy. And it isn't easy. Okay. Anyways. So... I might do Crystal Sword plus four for now. What do you think? Yeah. I can't get five plus five, but I got plus four. Should I upgrade the... I should upgrade this shield, because I've been trying to use it. See, it increases... It increases the, the like, strength of it, right? Well, it increases the attack power. Does it... It is a... It doesn't seem to increase the negation, the guarded damage negation. Well, it says physical 100. But it doesn't stop blood buildup. What what damage type is blood buildup? Or is there no way to negate that damage? Because I'm wondering, like, if there's no point to upgrading that, then I won't do it. All right. I think it's time for us to go to whatever the hell this cave is. I guess, at least I think it's over here. Look at all these things. So weird. I thought that tumbleweed was one of them. All right. Cave, 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 cave. I know it's somewhere around here. Yeah? What? You? Come here. Oh god, I hate these things so much! Die! Ooh, you need a stone sword key to go in here. I got one. Yeah. What? No stone sword key. What? No way. No, I definitely have some. What? Okay, well I know where we can get some, so I'll just... Head back here. I can get three of them for 4,000. Cool. Let's see how Rajir's doing while we're here. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, hello. I was hoping to see you. Yeah? My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back, with my thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Mm. Luna Princess Ronnie. One of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala. Whoa. Demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then what? all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. I have some idea of Rani's potential whereabouts. There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. I've already been there. It is the familial home of the Karian royals from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once, but I suspect she might have returned to the manner in which she was born. I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Do you know of those who live in death? Mm -hmm. The very notion of life in death defies the Golden Order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar. But I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life. Only they happen to touch upon a floor in the Order. A floor? A floor? About D. Yes, indeed. If D knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage. Or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. 
So Ronnie is around the manor? I was ever I went everywhere in there though. It could be outside where there's that dragon I still need to I still need to take down. Hmm. Alright, what's up, D? Oh, hello there. What can I do for you? You won't believe what Roger is planning. Oh, you have the weather dagger. What? Well, what have we here? That's yours? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Fia had it, or whatever. Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Okay, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really give a shit. Um, uh, do I want to go back to this? I can do that later, actually. Let's see, Renna's, Saluvis's, right. Let's go here. Alright, let's take down another dragon, y'all. Let's do it. It's Glimstone. Oh! Glimstone Dragon Agila. Nice. Watch out. Oh? Oh. Let's get the flask. Okay, we're doing well. Nice. Slaying a dragon. Ow. What is that? He's in second phase now. What? Wait, what? Where'd they go? We were having a fun time. What happened to phase two? No phase two? The dragon just left. Did it flee? Hey, wolf. So, I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry. Kind of dragged that out. I apologize. Ronnie's Rise. Here we go. And this one's open, if you'll notice. Check that out. First off, ill-omened creature. Okay. Let's see, what's uh, what's going on here? Magic. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, Ronnie. Oh, there's a side of grace here, really. That's cool. So what about the other one? There's like, uh, Saluvis and Renna. Renna. Renna and Ronnie. And then there's Rikard and Radagon and Ra what, Radon or whatever their names are. Oh. Stop. Why would you put that? Why would you put the message right here? Right on... Right on the crank. Why would you put it there? Oh. I thought I needed to pull it, but... Okay. But still, it annoys me. Okay. What's at the top of this? Another memory stone, or... Anyone home? <gasps> it's you! Oh. Again we cross paths. It's her! I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. That's right. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? Give me your curse mark. I have mark. no memory of inking thee an invitation. 
You must be Ryan the Witch, behind the Knight of the Black Knives. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? <laughs> uh -oh. Indeed, I am the witch, Rani. I see. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death and used it to forge the god-slaying Black Knives through fearsome rite. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. What? And why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed. But all the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. I wasn't begging. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. I'm gonna tell Roger. <sighs> Be gone. I'm gonna tell Roger what you said. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell him. Oh, Roger's not gonna like this. Wait. D's not here. Ah, I have been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the round table hold. What? Why? I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. But I gave you the we books. Not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. I gave you the books! I don't have any- Okay. Why- well, I, I should get these. Um, I actually just want the fire ones. So- golden orb. Cause I gave you that fire book and now you're gonna take the fire book with you. Am I ever gonna see you again? Well, you said for quite some time, right? All right, I'm just gonna buy everything he he has, at least from the fire. So let's get this. Let's get that. Okay, let's get this. And let's get that. Okay, so I, I end up buying all the fire incantations in case I want to use them later, because I might. I mean, I'm building faith right now, so, you know. Um, I don't really care much about this. Silence's footsteps. What? Creates area of darkness that conceals cancer. These are like stealth spells. I don't really care much about that. Um, the shockwave is whatever. I don't care about the healing ones. I'm okay. Um, I mean, unless these are like instant heals. I don't know. Just a small amount of HP. I'm like, whatever. And then cure poison is interesting. Uh, but poison hasn't really been like a problem for me so far. Fire damage negation, magic damage negation. I just... I can probably get those elsewhere, right? Or, I don't know. I want to get the offensive spells, though. Alright, anyway. Yeah, D's gone, too, by the way. Always good to see you safe. So. Yeah, okay, let me, uh, yeah. I see. When Rani shed her flesh, she shed the curse mark, too. She sure did. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. Okay. But if she in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess, then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. <laughs> Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? What? Ah, uh, only in order to get what we want, of course. Yeah, we're gonna the use The location her. of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the sly. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Thanks. Bud. Right. Okay, let's go back and uh, I'll propose that idea to her, I guess. I'll also get rid of this, I guess, because the dragon's gone. Hi. The curse mark thou seekest out. No, 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 I wish to serve you. Oh, is that so? I mean, yeah. Thou wouldst render me aid. Is that thy proposal? Yeah, whatever. Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, grope. no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service. Okay. And good hunting to thee. I'm also in Kenneth Height's service, but not much has come out of that. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half-woven warrior. 
by the name of Blythe. We've met. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron. The Eternal City. Nice, dude. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Hey! Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G. I've met them. My war counselor. Yeah, the big guy. Salavis, big merchant. Preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I'm sure the others will be doing just the same. So, Ronnie, um, do you just sit here on your throne and, and look out onto, um, the view? Do you actually read these books or, or what? What? That's EG. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Uh -huh. Again, I am E.G., uh -huh. the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Thanks. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience let alone service to Lady Rani was in your fate. Oh. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. That's right. Do forgive me, my fellow. Apology. Let us give all that we can of ourselves. Apology. Together. Noted. For Lady Rani. Hmm. Yes, I will uh, jot down that you apologized in my notebook, uh, but uh, refrain from accepting at this time. Blythe, here we go. Hmm. Long time, friend. We're friends. Blythe, if you've forgotten, glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Yeah. Well, getting right to business. Mm -hmm. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. What? I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. <gasps> See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. You're talking about Siofra Riverwell. I'm going below through the See if I can't keep me wait. No, I know exactly where to go. Yeah. And then this must be Saluvis. Hi. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. I hate you already. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Saluvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. Mm. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you. But since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. Oh, whoa, whoa, sorry. Oh, you were so fucking boring. I fell asleep. Sorry I about that. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Why? Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani? If it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? You're so weird. You are so weird. Goodbye! Hey! What happened with the dragon? How come I can't... Whoa, what's going on? What? Why is there... Let there be blocking? Why is this blocked off now? Wait, what? Is there like a portal or something? I was gonna fast travel to the, uh... Siofra River well. Did she say to go back up and talk to her? Cause like, I already talked to all Three of those guys, I thought I was gonna be like well on my way. Ah. Allow me to forewarn. That is what you're supposed to do. I shall soon enter my slumber. What? And it will be some time before <laughs> Look how I close wake. I am. <laughs> this doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. See, she has I two faces. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon, and it will be. I have high look for. So now I can go? Oh my god, you are incorrigible. 
Wait, is there like a fast travel over here? There's not, is there? I guess I'll go to Fort Height West. What? Well, is there something I'm supposed to do with Kenneth? Because he said he was looking for somebody to, to be lord over the... Um, over that place, over the fort. And I just... I haven't given him... a candidate yet, I guess. Oh, don't fall down! Wait, how do you make it come back up? Um... Oh, it's on the wall. Okay. I just didn't see it. I was like... I really hope that I don't have to fall down. I mean, I could. I could equip that cat talisman and just drop down, right? Alright, we're meeting up with Blyde. Gonna hang out. It's a... It's a hangout, uh... Spot down here in the in the river well. Everybody's doing it. Everybody who's got a big uh, wolf face. Was this the one that you guys were like, you literally can't miss it when I missed it? Oh, you literally can't miss it. Well, maybe if I'm too, uh, if I'm like wowed by a sense of adventure, maybe that's a little different, huh? Um. So wait, where's Blyde? Alright, let's go. Ow, what? Yeah, I can take these guys out way easier now. Let's go. I even just like super aggroed that guy. No problem. Melted mushroom. Gross. Hello? Smithing stone four? Alright. I'm gonna pick all these up, thanks. Hey. That's how you do it, dude. That's how you kill those guys. That's how you kill those guys. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, there's some dudes over here as well. But I'm not sure if there's really anything over here for me. Maybe not? Yeah, I don't really think there's any purpose to killing these guys over here. So I think I'm gonna leave them alone. Instead, I can't tell that you go this way. Budding horn. Cool. This seems like there's something up there. Um. Well, this is what you do, isn't it? Oh gosh. Woo -hoo. This is fun. I got all the way up here. Uh, we gotta be careful here, though. This is... I mean, I'm, I'm guessing we, we pop down here, right? Oh. Careful. Okay. No. Yep. Got him. Throwing daggers, not really something I'm into. Do I hop down like right? I think I hop down like right here, I wanna say. Oh, oh. Okay. We're still good. I'm wondering if I hop down on this side. Yeah. Get it. Oracle bubbles. Oh, that's that little thing that they've been doing. Golden centipede. 
kept as a fetish by Golden Order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. As such, they're found near churches and similar. Found- I- I've been to many churches, I've never seen one of these. Ever. Blyde, where are you, by the way? Where the hell is he? He was like, oh, I'll meet you in Silver River. Well, where? This place is huge. Where are you? I haven't seen him yet. So, I assume I just haven't- I haven't found him yet. I haven't bumped into him. Are you over here? Where are you? Blyde! Oh, Blyde! By the way, Pickle, all your- So funny! I'm about to... Uh... Oh, he's in the loop where he does the sideways thing. He does the sideways hit. Goodbye. Let me have more of your crab eggs. Look at these crabs. They're like, we'll get you. We'll pinch you. You killed them. We'll pinch you for that. Ow! Oh my gosh. I didn't think that they actually pinched you. How is there... How is there a night sky down here? What? I think... Is that a... Is that a map marker? Right there, because I need a map. That sounds great. Let me go check. Or no, you just light the... You just light it up. Um... There's balls of energy and big crabs down here. And, uh, no sign of Blyde. There's a big gateway there, uh... There's deer, weirdly. This is just such a strange area. I think I'll go up here, see if there's anything. Oh, wow, there is something. Jeez. Can I have this? Old Fang. Wow. The, you know, honestly, the stuff that you pick up, the stuff that you decide you, you want to pick up is very strange. Wow, an old fang. A fossilized tooth. Can't wait to put this in my backpack for the rest of the time here. Inverted hawk heater shield. Ooh, is this better than the other heater shield? Stop, what are you guys doing? There's so many blood stains here, people being like, Oh, I don't know. Uh, where do I go? Uh, I guess I'll just, uh... Oh, I don't know. I'll just... I'll just... Oh! <laughs> Uh, where do I go? Uh, well, I could go back, or I could try to- uh! Oh, blind! I find it very suspicious that you're not around yet, and you're just, like, somewhere around here. Where could you possibly be? Um... What's really suspicious, too, is, like, all these guys are alive and Blyde's around here somewhere. Not fighting them. What the hell? Ugh, I don't know where to go. This- this- this area is too huge. Um... Do I fight these? Ow. There's a portal here. Ooh, somber smithing stone. There's a portal here. What the hell? Can I... let's see... I'm gonna put that, that's my little portal sign. See, it's up there too. I just don't know what to do. There's Blyde! What the hell, dude? I've been looking all over for you! Yeah, hey! Oh, good to see you. He's so casual. Apologies, mate, but I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. 
but I'm absolutely stumped. You can't be serious. I've tried all the gateways, to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I'm down. I don't like him, I so. Just. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Right. He says something about like a dead end. How do I get over there? I, you know, I want to get to that thing. Okay, can I just say... I know he wants us to go see Celibus or whatever, but... I kind of want to hang out here for a little bit. This is really cool. This is a really cool place. I... I hate you. I hate you. I love it. I love that. That's so much fun. Oh my god. Oh, it's the big guy. No, get up, get up. Woo. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Wow. Come on. Sorry if that was dizzying for anyone else. Trust me, it wasn't exactly a picnic for me either. Fur leggings. Okay, we light this flame. I... You are such a... Where's the other one? Wow! Okay, Legolas. There's another one up there. Oh! 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 Another one of these flame things. Let's get it. I hope there's not. I'm going to light the flame now. I was on a specific order you're supposed to do this or anything like that. Also, is there is there a place where you can um get a map? Because I feel like a map would really help me here. Maybe up here? <laughs> Oh, there's another portal here. Okay, this is also a portal, so I'm gonna mark that. Um, let's see, there's another thing to light over there. Huh. Oh. That was too high? Wouldn't the horse break the fall? I guess the horse is the spectral steed, right? So, really... Ooh, a tortoise! I remember, um, there was this old, like, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm about to fucking lose it. Oh my god. Fuck off. What the hell, dude? Oh. Look at all these arrows! What? Look at all 
Look at this! Anyway, there's this old Alice in Wonderland um, TV movie I used to watch back in the day. Um, my brother used to really like it, so he was the main one that used to watch it, but we had it on VHS. And it had uh, Ringo Starr in it. Ringo Starr from the Beatles, the drummer. And he played, um... He played, uh, the, oh, what was it? The, the Mock Turtle. Yeah, that was the character's name. And he talked about, um, his teacher in school was named Tortoise. And Alice is like, why was he named Tortoise? And he said, we called him Tortoise because he taught us. Really, you are very dull. So just, just now, when I saw that tortoise, that's what I was thinking about. Ringo Star tortoise because he tortoise. It was always the, really, you are very dull. That always got me. It's just like, duh. I'm gonna light this too. Yeah, I'm gonna light all of these. I hate these guys. Can I please hit him? Oh no, I killed a bunny! No, or not bunny, but like some kind of jackalope thing. Dude, don't even think about it. I'm just not in the mood right now. No, no, go back. Go back behind. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave. Okay? He's scared of me. I've got him. He's scared, aren't you? You're scared. How far this way does it go? Hey, Blythe, you mind cleaning up around here a little bit? Anyway, I'm heading back over here because there's like nothing over there. For some reason, I thought that that was like the main way to go, and it's not. So, yeah, hi. I'm heading over here. Gonna go in. Don't tell me. Ugh. Can I look at my map yet? Can't ever look at the fucking map. What's up here? Can I look at it? I just want to look at the map, please. Also... Is this a boss? It looks like a corpse. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, it's just something that's dead. Yeah, a new map has been found. No shit. Okay, so this. It's not actually as big as I thought it was. Okay, this helps so much to be able to see this, by the way. So here's where Blyde is, by the way. Right here, if you're wondering where everything is. Um, here are the two portals I found. That's the last side of Grace I went to. Worshipper's Woods, wow. There's just so much around, holy shit. I wanna say... This is where the lift was? Way back in here, or... I don't know, actually. Or was it back in here? Here's where the lift is. This is the lift, and I came through here. Yeah, all right. Wow, this area is much bigger than I thought. What are they doing over here? I don't know what they're stomping for over here. Got a golden rune here. 
Yeah, they're stomping for something here. Well, I hate to interrupt, but, um... I'm gonna interrupt. I don't actually hate to interrupt that much. Yeah, they're, they're stomping a lot and they're looking over here. Seems like. I'm just gonna slowly... Kill all of them. We're getting to... Oh my gosh, I was about to say we're getting to like the north end of things, but not really. There's still so much stuff over there. Look at how high that goes, what? <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. There's a, okay, there's a way gate right here. Okay, I see one of these things over here. I guess it's like an Ash of War. Got it? Ash of War, square off! What's with the rats? There's rats over here! Okay, before I go up there, okay, we're gonna light this one aflame. I'm not really sure what that does, but... Yeah, I don't really understand this. Not the best. No, I went down. No, come on. I was panic rolling. I panic roll sometimes. Can I just say, I don't appreciate that the rats are going nuts over there. I hate you. Maybe if you use your shield, they wouldn't hit you. Yes, thank you. Here we go. I don't know how many more of these I need to do. Like, we're pretty far up. Like, what's this up here? Should I go back and talk to Celevis? Because... It's just, I, I heard Blind tell me to go back and talk to Celevis, but at the same time... I really want to explore all of this. So I'm having a difficult time... Leaving. Especially since, like, I started exploring it in, like, what was that, part three or something? All those... All that time ago? Oh, it's a sight of grace! Touching grace up here. And, um... Okay, there's a summoning thingy. It probably means that there's... A boss? Oh. Ghost Glove Wart 3, very nice. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Um... How do I go up? <laughs> I take the stairs, I guess. I'm taking the stairs. Clarifying horn charm, and there's a stone sword key here. Use stone sword key. Where does it go? What? Okay. What? Not enough stone sword key. I just bu Didn't I just buy three of them? No way. How do I- Where'd they all go? I, I don't have any. What? You know, one thing I don't really like about the Stone Sword Keys, I think it uses more than one of them a lot. And then it doesn't tell you. It'll just be like, oh, would you like to use a Stone Sword Key? And you'll be like, yes, I would like to use a Stone Sword Key. And it's like, you use three of them afterwards. Oh, thanks for using three Stone Sword Keys. And I'll be like, oh, I thought it was just one, because you just said it's one. There's a golden seed over there, I see. Learn to spot these from forever away. Hello. I can't get out. I I was body blocked in.
it's quite the contrast here between like the ghostly cultist guys with their staves and they're like, hmm, yes, quite, aura, and the diseased rats. Can I go up there? How? How do you get up there? There's no way unless you like teleport. Maybe one of the way gates? I honestly have no idea. I'm. There, there may have been a flame that I missed back there, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it for now though, I'm gonna go over here, right. Is there anything? Oh no. Oh no. No, I'm not gonna go that way yet. I know I'm going to go that way. I know myself and... I'm gonna end up going that way. Thank you for the golden seed, though. I appreciate it. What's up? No horse ahead. Yeah, I know. Caves back here. I never thought I would go this off the beaten path this video. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey. A rune arc? This is a hidden wall, isn't it? Elden Ring ahead. Oh. I'm sure it is. It's not a hidden wall. It's just a cave over here. Look how far under Kalid I am. Whoa, I'm way over here? I had no idea. Fascinating. Let's go talk to Saluvis, I guess, because Blind is like, I don't know where to go. He's useless, isn't he? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that about Blyde. I really like him, he's my buddy. I modeled myself after him, after all. It's just the Saluvis guy is really pissing me off. He's... He's dividing us. We gotta go kill him. I'm going to the right one, right? Yeah. His is the southern one. Oh yeah, your tower's not quite as tall as Ronnie's. And it's way down here. On a much, uh, lower hill, huh? Yeah, you look about like I thought you would. Look at that mask. I'm gonna go st I'm gonna go take your stuff. Before I talk to you. Hey, you got any stuff here, Celevis? I'm gonna go take some of it. Oh, you got a treasure chest up here? I'm gonna- I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> Ooh, I smell belongings. Your personal belongings. A memory stone. Good. I took it. I have so many memory stones, and I don't use magic at all. All right, hi. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Hmm? You bringing Nefeli into this? Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. Accept the task, don't accept. Well, maybe I'll accept the task and then I'll choose not to do it. I don't know, I don't like this. Nefeli? Yeah, I'm not gonna do it, though. Good, good. I'm not gonna now do it, Now I though. shall hand over the potion in question. I'm gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna read the fine prints. Celevis potion. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. Why? I expect glad tidings, and soon. You wanna kill her? I have no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I could kill I you so easy. I could kill you so easy. Ask about Nakron. Yes. Well, well. You're asking me about that. Well, um, well. The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. 
She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I know where she is. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. What? You've already written it? <laughs> I'm gonna read this. I introduce to you this mongrel. This mongrel you see before you is a shameless oaf. <laughs> I'm going to read what you wrote. I'm going to read it. Oh, I've got a stone sword. Here it is. I've got one stone sword key. So I guess I need more than one to to get into that thing in the seal for a while. Whatever. Yeah, I'm going to read this. Letter of introduction. Let's read it. The contents of the scroll cannot be discerned. Excuse you. Small flask. Finds Nephelian and Shashi drinks it. Cloudy tonic of bluish black. Dude, bluish black? That's like poison or something. There is no way. I am so against this. A hundred percent. Hello. There you are. My apprentice. Yeah, I haven't learned Shall a damn thing from you. I haven't learned a damn thing from you yet. So a of introduction. Well, well. Celibus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. Dude, but me fine. neither. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Carian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. What? You can now, do that? Now, here's the force that repulses the stars. Huh? If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement. And so, too, would Rani's destiny. Oh my god, so I gotta go kill this general guy? It's not gonna be... It's not gonna be easy. Glintstone Pebble. I already have these. I already have all these. You know what? I'm gonna give you some of my scrolls. Okay, wait, anyway, before I give you my scrolls, I'm just gonna look up and make sure that you don't die at some point. Okay, we're good to go. We're good We're good to go. She's not just gonna up and move like that incantation guy at the round table. Okay. Huh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. That's I'll good be to sure hear. to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Thanks. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. I like her. I've decided I like you. And a game full of unlikable characters, distinctly unlikable characters, I like you. <sighs> Is that a scroll? Takes me back to my oh, academy say? day. Very well. I'll be sure to incorporate. Never lose that. Okay, so you just say the same thing. Is that a scroll? Very well. I'll be sure to never lose that. Oh, okay. Well. What's funny is I gave her all those scrolls and... I think I already have all these. Wait, no I don't. I decided to study some sorcery. Let's get the glenstone pebble under our belt. Yeah, I actually don't have these, so I'm gonna buy some. Um... Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. And then, uh, let's see. Swift glintstone shard, great glintstone shard. I don't have enough intelligence for that, wow. I'm not smart enough. Let's get, uh, star shower. Six shooting stars that pursue foes. Heck yeah. Oh, that was 10,000. That was a lot. The glint blade phalanx! That's what, uh, Loretta used on us. Give me that, yeah! Oh wait, no! You wish to can very well. Wait, about glintstone sorcery, tell me. Our art draws upon the powers embedded in glintstone. Okay. But what is the nature of such power? Glintstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while glintstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. Okay. It should not be forgotten. That glintstone sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. Okay. A fact lost on most sorcerers these days. Very fascinating. Um. By the way, I have three golden seeds, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh add a charge. Yeah. Okay. Glintstone pebble. 
Let's see. Star shower. Glabate phalanx. Um, let's see. Flame sling, maybe? Surge, O oh flame. Uh, and then there's, there's a few others here, some of which I can't use yet. So, if we ever wanted to do this, by the way, pretty simple. We could just get a staff, which I have one, as a matter of fact. Because I hold on to everything. So if I do this, okay. Alright, so I've got my staff out. Um. Ooh, I just did a spell. So that's the Glenstone Pebble. Let's go ahead and, uh, try this out. Here, watch this. Okay. Oh, that was crazy. Let's try the Phalanx. Ooh. Cool, I did some spells, y'all. That was fun. I know I'm out of uh I'm out of FP unfortunately. Oh, don't get cocky. Oh yeah, you wanna go? That's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the Silfra River. And uh, I think we're kinda running out of time in this video, so uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do here. We'll probably have to wrap it up. Oh, I'm missing one! Look, I just noticed! All these are lit up except for one. I'm missing one still. I'll probably have to find out what it does in the next one, huh? Oh, give me a break. Blind! I have news! I'm about... I'm about to lose it. Okay. I'm losing it! Hey, friend. Ah. Well met. Yeah. What news? Tell Selen's story. Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Starsker's Radan. What the fuck? That reminds me of something I heard. Excuse There's me. A festival being held at the castle on the southern edge We're of the We're talking right now. Royals, east of Limgrave. The festival. The jar was talking about that. Combat. I heard that you can fight them. Dude. You can't be serious. I was in the middle of a conversation. There's a festival being held at the castle okay. on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, mm -hmm. east of Limgrave. Yep. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. Oh. He who was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Yeah. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan then. Yeah, you know what? I think I will too. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. Of course. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. Very cool, dude. You're coming too, right? I'll yeah, of course I am. Um, now it, it's gonna take me some time to get over there. Uh, I just wanna wanna emphasize. Also, it's really bugging me. Here we go. What the hell? I just, it's just, I saw, I saw the thing that you can hop up on and I just, it was driving me nuts that I hadn't done it yet. That's all. Oh my gosh, don't fall. Wow. Wow. I'm... <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna fall. What? Well, where am I supposed to go now? Oh, a stone sword key. Oh, that's real cute. Oh, is there a way down here, actually? Uh. Oh. God. This is so weird. Um.
Am I going to the side? Why am I going to the side? Am I going down? Oh, I don't know. I don't like this. I'm scared of heights. What the hell? Well, why am I all the way down here? Oh, there's a thingy. Oh, you go down here. Oh, nice. Okay. And then there's nothing over here, obviously, but you can go pick up this guy's stuff. Which I think I will. A dwelling arrow. Well, that's not exactly the most fascinating fucking thing, is it? So that's where Nokron is, right? Way up there? I haven't investigated any of the way gates, but I'm sure there's something that we could... can do to get up there. Okay, well, that's where we're gonna end the video. So, uh, what all did we do in this video? There was a lot of things that we did. Um... Okay, so, we, uh, let's see, at the beginning of the video, we did the introductory parts to the Rhea Lucaria Academy. Uh, we did about, uh, I would say about half of the castle, but I'm not sure how much there is, obviously. There might be, like, way more than, um, what I did. There also might not be much left. But we did beat one boss, the Red Wolf of Radagon. And then I decided to do some side quests, so we did a couple caves. We took down about half of a dragon. We caught back up with Ronnie. We met some new characters, including Celevis, who I hate. We did uh, some stuff for Roger. And uh, we found ourselves spending actually a lot of time at the bottom of the uh, Siofro River well, which is huge, a huge place, as it turns out. And it's got a bunch of interrupting assholes who shoot arrows at you while you're monologuing. That's, you know, I, I'm, I'm over it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what else, what else happened in this video? Like, oh, I cast my first spell in this playthrough? Which was very exciting, I did it on some very worthy opponents. And, um, yeah, that's been ten videos of Elden Ring. If you can believe it. Ten videos. Wow. Well, I hope that, uh, you've been enjoying the playthrough so far, and, um... Yeah, I'll see y'all in part 11. What are we gonna do in part 11? I'd like to finish up this area if we can. I'd like to do... If we can't finish it up yet, because they're talking about the festival in general with Don and Kaled and stuff, and I'm like, well, I'm not really ready to move on to Kaled yet. I don't really want to start up another region. Um, so... I'm not really planning on doing that yet, but... I'm probably gonna try to do as much of Seal for River well as I can. And I might go back to Rhea Lucaria and uh, try to wrap that up. Try to start, like, bringing Liernia to a close, if we can. Not, not like a hard close. Like a, I'll come back and I'll do the stuff I have left over kind of close. But it's been a, it's been a great journey so far and I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. So, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Think critically.